day two in Riga, Libor took a place on the hot seat after he pulled not only a cliffhanger no-hander lander, but also an unbelievable whip flip, dropping one hand off the bar. With it, he kicked Ilo, who rode after him to third place. Ilo learned and integrated the switchblade flip in his run on the same day, but it was still not enough. Second place was set for Libor because now there was only one rider left. The same rider who could become world champion two rounds before the end of the series, Remy Bizoir. Remy has a really aggressive riding style and he has worked hard on himself. He knows with Andre Vila and Libor Podmal that he has two competitors that should be taken seriously quite clearly. From the riding style and the tricks which he does, Remy deserves to take the title home. He is uh, one of the really top riders. He's riding consistently and the tricks are perfect and the style is unique and he's a well-deserved leader and uh, he deserves to win it. Remy's been riding strong for uh, several years now and he's been you know, close to the top for, for a long time and I guess it's, it's time to shine a little bit. He was hurt in the beginning of the year so I know how that, how that works. He really stepped it up in the, in the finals. He, he did a whip that I, did, I wasn't sure if he was going to make it back on, on two wheels, but he did, and, uh, and he rode great, so he deserved to win, definitely. While Remy threw his gear to the audience, his prize is driven into the arena, a brand new Suzuki Swift. I beat Ido also because in the morning he was like, hey, kids, I'm going to show you how to ride tonight. But the kids kicked him out, so me and Yibo was in front of him. So that's a sport. Yeah, really great day. I won the quality in the final and I won the world title also. So I'm really happy. I get a new car. Everything is perfect. I'm with my friends. I'm going to enjoy the time tonight also. So perfect day. A look at the overall rankings and with 20 points for each victory and two rounds remaining, Remy is untouchable. Libor has advanced to second. That's awesome. Remy is my really good friend, so I'm really happy for him. And yeah, he's got a nice car now. He won all on last event, so for sure he's the real world champion. So, was Riga the starting point for a battle of generations on the IFMXF? Fuck no, it wasn't a generation fight. I'm just, I haven't been riding lately. I'll beat this shit kids next year. It's been a really exciting season and uh, it's not over yet. We have two uh, long travel competitions to go in Namibia and Brazil and I'm looking forward to that more than uh, probably anything this year. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.